In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about three, yes, three things that are going on in the Portland metro area. So if you're living in Portland or moving to Portland, you might be wondering like, what's going on with Portland? What are some of the new developments and things that are happening that might make this city a little more better? Well, stick around, cause we're getting after it right now. If you're not a part of our community yet, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell because you're going to get a notification every time we drop a video, which is every single week on Portland Life. We love getting reach outs from you guys. So if you're moving to the Portland Metro area, you've got all of our contact information listed below. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. And we always put out interesting things weekly and we love your comments. So the more comments, the better. If you think we missed the mark, we you wanna add something, you wanna share something, keep it PG and polite is all we ask. All right, off to the video. So I thought I would change it up a little bit in terms of the typical videos we do. Now this channel is about Portland life. So there's a lot of development happening in the Portland metro area that I think is rather exciting. And I wanna share it with you. Maybe you've heard something about it, some rumblings, maybe you haven't heard anything at all, but let's dive into it. Um, the first one is super exciting. It's the Women's National Basketball Association is presumably coming in 2026. There was recent articles put out that announced this, that women's national basketball is gonna be here. And they basically put in this article that a lot of ticket sales are already starting to happen for the 2026 season. Now, there is no name for this women's basketball team as of yet, but the fact that we're having really healthy traffic buying these tickets is a big deal. Now, if you're excited about this and you want to buy season tickets in advance, fans as of right now can put a $26 deposit in for the season. Now it's unknown at this time how much season tickets are gonna be. We can look to Seattle, our sister city up north, to say that it's anywhere from $782 to just a little over $2,100 for season tickets. But the fact that they're getting so much attention right now for women's basketball is super exciting. In fact, they just had a 60 Minutes about women's basketball and some of the key players in it right now. And it really seems like it's heading into some serious momentum these days, which is great. Portland would do well with a women's basketball team that we can root on and support. And just to give you an idea of how many people have put deposits down, just in the last two weeks since they made this announcement, 5,000 people have put their deposits in. So that's a great start to a potential season coming up in 2026. Now, where are the women gonna play? The Moda Center, of course. So make way for your schedule in 2026 because there's a real hot chance that we're gonna get this basketball team. We don't know the name of it yet, but once we do, we will also announce it on our channel, but we're super excited to see a women's basketball team coming to Portland. Another exciting announcement, announcement number two, as far as Portland's development, is that the Portland Diamond Project, which is seven years in the making, is planning on bringing a major league baseball team to the Portland metro area. Now, back in early 2024 in January, there was rumors that they were looking to buy Red Tail Golf Course in the Beaverton area near Washington Square Mall. A lot of people thought that wasn't a good idea because there's a real lack of the ability to get cars and traffic under control in that area. Nobody could really understand how they would let that happen, but they were in discussion and then it went totally dead quiet. Well, they have resurrected and announced just recently that they have a letter of intent for 33 acres down at Zidel Yards in the South Waterfront, which is a vacant piece of land right on the river, which would be absolutely perfect because it's in downtown Portland, which would really help revitalize downtown. A lot of businesses would thrive, especially in that location. There's public transportation. It's easy to get there through major interstates. So lots of population traffic coming and going can be dealt with. And it makes sense to put it in this area. Now it's not a fully done deal, but they're getting pretty close to suturing that up and you can see plans online for what that stadium could potentially look like. And I think it would be a dynamite thing. Now, if we got the first one, the women's NBA, 
to come to Portland and start a women's basketball team. And we got the Portland Diamond Project to start a major league baseball team. That would be huge for Portland because it would invigorate our already existing sports atmosphere here. We've got the Trailblazers, but we could really use a few more sports teams here in the Portland area. And I've made mention of this on a video back, you know, 12 months ago, where we kind of lack some sports teams. You know, a lot of people have professional football and baseball and basketball and a whole bunch of other stuff. But here in Portland, we're pretty, you know, we've got room to add. So I'm super excited about the fact that they could do this. I also think it would be excellent for Portland because revitalizing downtown Portland means businesses come back, businesses make money. And I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that all of this works out. As I mentioned, it's a letter of intent. They still have a lot of work to do to get this finalized, but it really is a good thing to see this happening because I believe in Portland, as I've said on these videos, we've had our hard times, but we, I think, are possibly looking at a quicker resolution to the downtown stuff if we do have these two things happen. And the last development I wanna to bring to your attention, which once again is kind of parlaying with all this really good stuff possibly coming into Portland, is that recently Portland officials have given 15.4 million to the OMSI district to revitalize it. So if you know where OMSI is on the map, it's on the Southeast side of Portland, just right across the river. They're giving these funds so that they can revitalize that area and make it into something really great. And let me share with you what that looks like. Now the city is saying that they're gonna partner with tribal, local, and regional entities to ensure that they stay on track to develop a 24 acre district with innovation, culture, art, and science featuring 1,200 housing units. It also aims to restore the Willamette River's tribal community with a new Center for Tribal Nations and Waterfront Education. The OMSI president, CEO Aaron Graham, said city leaders' recent investment is a critical step in moving forward with the project. So this OMSI district is slated to break ground in 2025, and this is supposed to bring a lot of economic development to this area. So I just mentioned we're possibly getting a Women's National Basketball Association here. We're going to be possibly getting a Major League Baseball development, and then directly right across the river is going to be the OMSI district reinvented in that area and revitalized. Now think about this, guys. We talk a lot about, and you see a lot of news about Portland and businesses maybe not sticking around and all this stuff. If these three things come to pass, which this one definitely looks like it's going to, it's about 75% funded year to date, then this means that more and more businesses come into Portland and start to grow roots. And this could be the start, in my opinion. That's why I wanted to do this video. I believed that you know, there's going to be a time when Portland turns a corner. If they in fact bring these things to Portland, this could in fact be the kickoff to revitalizing Portland. So this is all very exciting. Again, these things are not concrete and done. No, there's not a guarantee to all of these, but it is definitely a very exciting thing to think about that these things could come into play here in the near future. So we will be keeping our eyes on this, possibly doing another video down the road regarding this. But if you guys like these videos on things that are happening in Portland, like these developments that are happening, I think it's important to stay aware just as we're looking at neighborhoods and trying to help you guys understand what you can get for your money and the pros and cons and all that stuff of living in Portland. I think it's just as important to be aware of what's happening in Portland that can be a good thing for us that live here. So put your comments below. We always like to hear your feedback and we'll see you on the next video.